Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be talking to you about foundation flashback. Now, we've all had that thing where we have, we've done our makeup and we're, we've got our nice clothes on and we've gone out and we've had photographs taken. And when we see the photographs, oftentimes the, our faces or patches of our faces or our entire face is a completely different color from the rest of our body, despite the fact that we are all one color. Now the reason for this predominantly is that a lot of foundations, a lot of primers, a lot of moisturizers have SPF in. Now chemical F SPFs aren't too much of a, a bother, but it's SPFs that have titanium dioxide and zinc oxide in that can cause this flashback. Now these ingredients are very, very white and opaque by nature. So the first thing we can do to prevent and stop foundation flashback is of course to not use a foundation that has SPF in. But let's just say that's not an option or you have um, a foundation that you love but it's got an SPF in and it's causing some problems with your skin, uh, with, you know, with flash on the camera. Um, interestingly enough, it's actually people with really pale skin and really deep skin that suffer from it the most. So strange that. So you've got your foundation, it's got an SPF in, wonderful. The next thing that you need to do to try and prevent foundation flashback is to apply a loose powder to the face that has color in it. Make sure that the loose powder you pick, now I've always liked um, Super Matte Loose by Makeup Forever, but lots of brands do colored powders, um, high end and low end, they all do them. Using one of these can absolutely counteract and sometimes completely eliminate foundation flashback. It's better to use a puff and just press and roll the, the powder over the face. That way you're making sure you're covering a larger area. So you might want to take a few test shots just to kind of be on the safe side, but it really does work. And colored powders are wonderful because you can kind of adjust things as well. You can use a slightly lighter powder, just say on the cheekbones for a really subtle highlight. Loads of things you can do with colored powders. But that is how to prevent um, flashback, at least in terms of you know, when your foundation has it in. Obviously, you don't want to go the whole hog. If you have a primer, moisturizer, all that jazz that has SPF in, if you can, just leave them out for the time that you're going to, you know, you're going to be out and having photographs taken. Now, the other thing to mention about foundation flashback is it's caused by powders as well. Now, I did a video on this a while ago, and I'm going to do a live demonstration for you right now on the problems with certain powders, particularly HD powders, and the major problems that they can cause for a flash photography. Uh, for flash photography. Now, allegedly that these were made just for film and not for flash, and a certain very big company has stated that their product does not cause the, 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 the white all over the face that we're seeing. All the celebrities had it a while ago. So what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is do a live demonstration for you. This is Makeup Forever HD powder. It's a really, really good powder as well. Looks great in the daytime. And all I'm gonna do is take a brush and just sweep it in here and then tap off all the excess and apply this to the right side of my eye. And I'm just gonna kind of circle it lightly, just like this. There we go. And the next thing I'm gonna, do you know what, just for fun, should we just apply a little bit there as well? Just for fun. Now I'm gonna take some Super Matte Loose powder and on a clean powder brush, I'm then gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna circle the eye, I'm gonna put even more on so you can really see. And I'm gonna do the same here. There we go. Now I'm gonna take a picture of myself with the flash on and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can see from this photograph that the side that has the HD powder on doesn't photograph very well at all. Now, I don't really know entirely why. Maybe it's just the fact that they are, it's, it's so reflective. Uh, who knows, but whatever the reason is, they don't really photograph that well. I need to be quite clear as well. I, you saw me swirling it on, and I guess I did use a fair amount. So if you're using the faintest of dustings, you may just get away with no problems whatsoever. But I highly, 100% recommend not using an HD powder when doing any form of, um, or when having a photo taken, particularly if you're a makeup artist and you're dealing with bridal or anything like that, because you don't want any of the photographs looking frightening like my one, because it's just not pretty. So just to recap, 
the best things to do to prevent foundation flashback is to make sure that you're not wearing any sunscreen that contains titanium dioxide or zinc oxide while being photographed or make sure your foundation doesn't contain any of the two ingredients I just mentioned, at least when being photographed. If you, that's not the, if, you know, if you have the foundation in and the SPF and it's the one you like, make sure you use a powder over it that's slightly colored. This way it will counteract any of those problems. Also, if you can and your skin tone allows it, try some bronzer as well around the perimeter of the face, blending it down onto the neck. This can also help counteract any of that kind of flashback. And make sure that when you're setting your makeup with powder to try and stay away from silica powders, which are um, HD powders, because they really can cause flashback. The one that doesn't is the one that I just reviewed just recently. It is so finely milled that I have piled this stuff on before to take a picture to check, and it absolutely doesn't. So if you wanna click here, you can go to that video, and that powder really doesn't cause any form of flashback but I still recommend just setting with a general loose powder that has a slight color in it. And that really is how to prevent and stop foundation flashback. Thank you for watching, bye-bye.